I'll be sharing with you today my math fair project that is over Pick's theorem. My idea for this project is mainly geared for 4 through 6th grade to be able to teach the students that you can find the area of a shape by using Pick's theorem on the geo board or on a square dot grid. The problem is to study geometric shapes and prove Pick's theorem to be correct. Then after proving Pick's theorem, you will make any shape on the geo board that is unstructured to see if Pick's theorem is still correct in finding the area of any shape. My hypothesis was that I believe that no matter what shape that you create on the geo board, you will be able to find the area of the shape when using Pick's theorem. The procedure of my project started with making a little polygon on the geo board. Then you will count the inside points, I, and boundary points, B, of the polygon and plug the numbers into the equation a equals I plus B divided by 2 minus 1, which will give you the area, A, of the polygon or shape. Then you will create any shape on the geo board and repeat the same process as before to see if Pick's theorem will work on any shape created on a geo board. To show you the examples, we have an unstructured shape. The interior points are the ones that are inside the polygon on the unstructured shape. And then the rubber band that has the points on it is the boundary. So to look at the equation, A equals I plus B divided by 2 minus 1. 9 was the interior points for this unstructured uh, shape. And then plus the boundary points which was 16, and then you divide that by 2 minus 1, which gives you the answer of 16 after you work the problem out. That was proving my hypothesis to be correct. The conclusion to my project is that Pick's theorem can be used on any shape when put onto a geo board, as long as you are able to count the points and plug them into the formula to get the area of the shape that was created. You should always be able to use Pick's theorem no matter what with any shape that you have.